Dodge Unit 1, headquarters. Move out. Lead vehicle heading out of the fairground. Hey there, Convoy Crazies, Jerry Can Junkies, and Willie's Wackos. John here, coming at you from a beautiful, hot as hell, sunny central Pennsylvania. Sun's out and the guns are out today, buddy. Yeah. Whoa, keep her on the road there. Anyways, here's another short video for you. Uh, put another roof patch in and found a historic documents. Got my bungs loosened up. Enjoy. So I tried something out the other day. This uh, bottom half of the door here. So I was playing around the other day with uh, some construction adhesive in this, where this is sealed here. This was like an epoxy uh, put in here originally. And it uh, gets brittle and hard and starts to break out like here on the upper door. I think I'm going to do the same thing here, run some construction adhesive around here and fill this back in and tool it in kind of like uh, this corner here. I think I'm going to drill this out. This is where your filter goes in here. Your crud, crud filter, I guess. It's not really going to keep much out. Not even gonna really keep dust out, but it's there. I'm gonna leave it there. There's a little thumb screw here. Isn't that nice? Probably had some of that uh, stuff around here. That's probably why this is loose. Some of this stuff. I have more of that. I'll put it in there. You know, I realize this is all pretty special interest stuff. But there really are no videos out there talking about restoring or doing any work on these shelters at all. So just trying to document this the best I can. So I might drill this out, this little pocket here where the filter sits. Might drill this out so I can really see what's back here. There's a beam that goes across the door here. You can see it here and here. You can see it here. I'm going to drill and rivet here and drill and rivet here to kind of pull this skin back in there where I want it. Guaranteed that phone is falling off of there. Captain and Tennille. a little more presentable got the old vent fixed up got a new fin made got the sash chains mounted 
Well, here's our next hole right next to the bale handle here. You grab a hold of to climb up onto this bastard. So, uh, I don't know what this is. There were footprints on the inside of the back wall of this. So they had it up on its ass end at one point. Uh, maybe this could be the same person that shot at it before. It looks kind of like a bullet hole came in here. Like a projectile came in here diagonally like this. Which, as this was sitting when I bought it, if it were up on its ass end, that would be the right direction the rounds came from. They all came from this corner here. So, in any case, uh, this is what we had to do next. Already got our patch made. Now, this is an actual patch made to spec. This is item one on that list, figure seven, that we looked at last video. And uh, it looks like it's going to... Maybe I'll turn it this way. Fit over, fit over that hole very nicely. So I guess I'll get chopped. And I can't really let my skin touch the top of this shelter. It's so hot. I'm going to have to paint this white. Because it's like 5 million degrees in the shelter. Holy cow! <laughs> How about that? That is a little, a little rough looking. I didn't mark it all up either. That's great. That's fantastic. So I found that note. I'll show you where I found it. That note that you just saw was under this cover. Not under here, but under this cover here. I put the tape back on and I put it back in there and that was here. The thermometer for the heater. This had a heater. I, uh, it, the fuel tank, well, I'll show you. I'll just walk out here and look since there's nothing available for these shelters online. A uh, picture I saw, the fuel tank for the heater went here and the heater went down here, I think. And there were some other fittings and stuff that went in there. I already filled them full of foam, pop rid of it, these holes shut. Uh, but yeah, the tank for it went here. It must have been like a gas heater or something like that. Um, and you can see the remnants of the patches and stuff here. There were holes all over this front wall here. So, anyways, I'm not quite sure what to do with that letter. quite sure what to do with it. This shelter went to Vietnam because that looks like Vietnamese writing to me. Is it a love letter? 
Is it a love note? We're probably never gonna know. But I think it should stay in this shelter. Um, so where do I put it? Because I'm gonna change a couple things in there. Maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll have to think about it a while. I don't even know where I talk. I was talking so much, I don't even know where I put my wire brush. Now we're back on track. I don't know if you guys saw the first video or not, whenever I was just starting to clean this thing up, but there was a gator in here. A, a canvas fabric gator mounted to the inside wall of this with eyelets around it. So it looked like a tube with eyelets on the far end. So you would run something through here. Nice. You'd run something through here and then you would cinch up the gator on the inside. I thought that was kind of clever. I might, uh, I'm gonna keep this probably and I might remanufacture that gator so I can run whatever through here. Okay, you can see my setup here to get these bungs loose. This one took a little persuasion. It wasn't like the aluminum one. Um, I wrapped around here, I got on it, it wasn't going. So I took the whole thing loose, uh, smacked it with a hammer a little bit, and finally, finally it came loose. I don't know if it's loose enough yet to turn my hand or not. Yes, okay. You can get out of hand and Hulk smash this, but then you're gonna ruin this stuff, you know? Or you could potentially ruin it. What we got under here? Ooh, that's nice. That probably hasn't seen the light of day in 50 years. That's nice. Probably because it had a uh, gasket here. That's probably why it stayed so nice. Put a little oil on here when we put this back on and uh, we got one more in the back I want to try to get loose. Boy, does that turn nice now. Like it's brand new. Okay, so here we are uh, right next to the front door here and uh, I already smacked this one with a hammer when I smacked the other one with a hammer while I was at it. So I haven't tried to turn this yet so let's see if it's gonna go Ooh. no but I might <laughs> hold on if I seriously injure myself then I get out of work so I'm not too worried about that <sighs> okay that's a no-go shoo smack on her a little more is that an eight or an infinity. Huh. And we smacked on a little bit more. If it doesn't go, I'm gonna have to move this down a little bit. Oh man, I didn't get it on camera, but it budged. I feel like an asshole. That's 0 for 2 that I didn't break loose on camera. But you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, come to Papa. And for the reveal. I mean, you guys know what's in here, but it's just cool to see it. That one, uh, gasket wasn't quite as water resilient I'll put a little dab oil on there and then we're gonna head to work uh, so yeah that's the video for today heading to work I don't know if I'm gonna use this outro but we'll just shoot it just in case keep on jeeping on we'll see you out there have a good day